Hello and welcome to your DNA replication extravaganza brought to you by your local PBS station. We are supported by viewers like you, so if you want to contribute, you can Venmo my college account at allison.benjamin.6. Let's get started. To start off, to begin DNA replication, since DNA uses the semi-conservative model, the first step of this process is to separate the DNA strands. Several um, proteins slash enzymes, enzymes are types of proteins, come in to help the process of separating the strands. First of all, topoisomerase is an enzyme that relaxes the DNA strands at the replication fork. This is the replication fork, um, and it allows helicase, which is another enzyme, to come in and basically unzip the DNA. Also, single-stranded binding proteins um, bind to the DNA close to this site, so they coat the separated strands of DNA near the replication fork and keeps them from coming back together because we need these strands to be separated for us to add new base pairs. DNA base pairs are added by an enzyme called DNA polymerase in the five prime to three prime direction. So this is the direction of the strand that's being added, not the direction of the template strand. So those are opposites. DNA polymerase can't just start replicating DNA out of the middle of nowhere. It has to start somewhere. So it has to be attached to an RNA primer. And a primer is a sequence of RNA made by an enzyme called primase, and it is made to fit a certain region of DNA. So it has the opposite base pairs, and it comes and it attaches to the DNA sequence. And then the base pairs are added in the direction. So in this um, strand, the primase is not pictured, and the primer is not pictured. But you would imagine that the primer would be sort of off to this side, and then the DNA polymerase attaches to the primer and starts adding nitrogenous base pairs in the five prime to three prime direction. There are two different strands when we're replicating DNA, the leading strand and the lagging strand. Since we're unzipping DNA this way, the DNA is going to get replicated moving this way. And DNA naturally gets replicated in the five prime to three prime direction. So the leading strand will match, will have one primer, the DNA polymerase three will attach here and attach base pairs continuously until it gets to the end of the strand. However, on the lagging strand, it's traveling in the three prime to five prime direction, which is the opposite way of DNA replication. So DNA polymerase actually has to do different sections and fragments. It will start with a primer. So a primer will attach to part of the DNA and then DNA polymerase three will come and add base pairs. And then another primer has to be attached. And then DNA polymerase will come again and attach some base pairs. And so it attaches these base pairs in fragments called Okazaki fragments. And before you get to the end, you're left with a bunch of different fragments and a bunch of different primers. So what ends up happening is DNA polymerase one will go on top of the primers and replace those RNA primers with DNA. Once again, the difference between DNA polymerase 1 and DNA polymerase 3 is that DNA polymerase 1 goes over the primers on the lagging strand and replaces them with DNA base pairs, whereas DNA polymerase 3 is the main um, DNA replicator and it will do most of the replicating. It creates, it creates the base pairs on the Okazaki fragments. After replication on the lagging strand, we end up with a bunch of different Okazaki fragments that aren't attached. So we need another enzyme to come through. And this is called DNA ligase. DNA ligase joins strands of DNA, so Okazaki fragments of DNA, together by forming a bond between phosphate groups and the deoxyribose group of a different fragment. So it basically acts like a DNA glue. So that is how DNA replication works. Different enzymes like DNA polymerase, helicase, depoisomerase, DNA ligase, and different proteins like the single-stranded binding proteins um, all work together to make this possible and it's really a cool process.